Johnny Toe's Life in Pictures is a body of work that is as diverse as it is prolific. From his feature debut in 1980, he has directed over 50 features. Setting up his own production company, Milky Way Images, in 1996, he's been able to move from commercial hits through to his own personal projects, such as Vengeance, Exiled, PTU, and Election 1 and 2. Those two films screened in competition at the Cannes Film Festival, and he's become a hit with audiences across the globe. His international breakthrough was in 1999 with The Mission, which, for most audiences, set up their image of what a Johnny Toe film would be, a crime drama that was punctuated with stunning set pieces. To watch a Johnny Toe film is to be caught up in a maelstrom of action and suspense. Welcome to London and BAFTA. Um, having looked at so many of your films, over the last few weeks. D there are many directors I could mention. Sergio Leone seemed to crop up now and again. Could you talk about some of the directors that you feel have been so important to you? I personally there's a story that apparently Alfred Hitchcock used to include a certain shot in his films, and people asked him, why do you go for this stylish shot? And he would say, that's one for the critics to talk about for hours and hours and hours. <笑>你根本都不是想說那件事<笑><笑> You mentioned uh, about the fact that you don't take very long to shoot many of your films and you may start with a script that is quite basic, yet so many sequences are incredibly complex. Do you have a storyboard? <笑>但在三年裏面我拍了七部戲才拍完這部 <laughs> I, I'm not sure if this is correct, and, and perhaps you can confirm this, that you made a film called Help, and from the moment that you developed the idea through to its release in a cinema, it took something like 26 days? movie. <laughs> 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 七月上畫,我就跟偉家輝講得不得,偉家得,今日三日開工啦,今日三日開工拍連續拍咗二十幾日,又係冇劇本嘅,又係續續續續咁多。So what inspires you with with each new project? What what what's the thing? Is it is it a new story that attracts you and then you work on that? And expand it? Uh,多數都是在生活上的那個那個那個過程的遭遇,突然間會覺得那樣嘢,我都有興趣了,我咪去去拍了。這好像呃呢個呃呃 my 
，我俾銀行呃咗，所以我咪拍。拉夫都偏食布。Kill you later. What is interesting about your films? The one thing that's permanent, even if it changes, is Hong Kong, and Hong Kong really is a character in almost all of your films. It's almost as important a character in the films, the streets you choose to film on, the the, the various buildings the action takes place in or outside of, is almost as important as the characters that the actors are playing. Very important. Hong Kong is my favorite place in my films. Because I'm not born here. I'm born in the city. I'm born in Hong Kong. 我講嘅香港佢好特別嘅原因就係由誒誒誒我爸爸嗰代都喺嗰度嚟，喺 Mainland China 去誒誒、啊啊、有個時期都好多人游水嚟香港，咁跟住又去咗第二度啫。咁我講係佢係咁樣嘅一個一個 island 係一個島嚟嘅，但係我喺嗰度出世，我就唔使走噶嘛。咁又唔同嗰個諗法，即係戲裏邊嘅講法同埋我自己覺得呢、這個呢、這個。呢、这個呢呢誒幾十年咧，五六十年戰後嘅香港咧，佢飾演咗一個角色，就俾大家就唞唞，跟住誒飛唔飛隨你啦嚇，即係有咁嘅感覺啦俾我。其他地區冇咁犀利嘅，即係你你睇誒新加坡唔會好似香港咁嘅，誒佢係好特別嘅香港。Do you worry about the culture of of Hong Kong cinema and the specific identity? It's had that perhaps there's a, a danger that it's disappearing in terms of the cinematic input. Is that the Hong Kong cinema has been absorbed in China and the U.S. Actually, there is no need for Hong Kong cinema. It's not very important. It will be there. It will change. It will change. And now I think many times Hong Kong directors are 大陸拍戲咧，都發揮咗香港導演嘅精神嘅。佢哋係我自己個人覺得去去睇喺商業同埋喺靈活性上邊咧，香港導演係比比較比較比較即係誒誒醒目啲嘅。誒同埋佢哋個節奏啊嘛，各方面咧都係誒、呃、有啲同同國內有啲導演都係有啲差別嘅。我睇法就係話，未來香港嘅電影慢慢會融入中國電影嘅裏邊，誒，亦都會係有保留到有啲年青嘅導演喺喺香港去好有香港特色嘅電影文化裏邊嘅。咁呢個係係係係係係必必然嘅，因為呢個係大環境，即係嗰個嗰、那個個氣候係咁。但係香港電影唔會冇嘅，佢係佢佢佢佢散咗出去咁解嘅啫。我個人嘅嘅睇法係咁。And how about in front of a camera? The the because there's so many actors that you work with, and do you see a new generation of actors coming up? 國內嘅人才係比較多嘅，事實誒可以選擇嘅演員亦都多嘅誒。但係相對嚟講，我覺得即係香港演員係好都算好。好硬正啊！所謂你到周潤發都六十歲啦，仲喺度做小生㗎喎。以前以前冇咗㗎啦，劉德華五啊幾，梁朝偉都五啊幾，咪仲係小生啊！你你諗下，佢係幾硬正，佢先企得到啊！所以我覺得呢一代嘅香港電影藝人啊，即係演員嚟講啊，誒誒，佢哋都發揮到即係演員嗰個幾極限嘅。One of the great pleasures of a body of work such as Mr. Toes is not just the ability to to return to it time and time again, but you can return to a film that you might have seen before, and it feels fresh in light of the many many films he's made since. It's a remarkable achievement over the course of just 35 years to direct over 50 films and produce over 70 films. Can you please join me in thanking Johnny Toe?